All right, we got here. I don't know what it is. Uh, Komatsu tractor. I don't know why I'm here. I don't know why I said yes, but they called enough times. So they say that the screen up there is just frozen on. It hasn't moved. <clears throat> yeah, this job's not for me. All right, let's see. <clears throat> so, at least we got a nice view. So this screen, see, the ignition's off, key's out. This screen just stays on. It's been frozen inside for like two weeks. Doesn't count hours. Otherwise the machine works, it just, they said one time it, it overheated. He thinks it's because of this and all the coolant boiled out. So I have no idea what I'm doing. I really shouldn't be here, but I told him I'll just try disconnecting it at least. Maybe it's just frozen or I don't know. He said I have a better chance than he does. And this is what he wanted. So I'm just gonna try to unbolt it and we'll go from there. But I don't even have a plan. Let's see. Oh, okay. So we got two little harnesses going into this. Let's unplug them both. All right, it turns off. So either we have a short to power or this thing just like somehow froze on. Um, it's a 24 volt system. I don't even know what this tracker is called to find diagrams, but I guess I can look it up if I have to. Um, I'm gonna just do what I do to Toyota radios when they freeze. I just unplug the battery for, you know, until the capacitor is drained. Um, yeah, I don't know if that's the best uh, bet for fixing this, but that's how my experience works, so that's what I'm doing. I don't know where to put the screws without losing them. This is not for me, I'm scared of heights. Right, let's plug it back in and see what happens. Okay. So the screen like semi turned on, right? Because those numbers, the hours lit up. Yeah, so the hours are coming from. Yeah, so the hours turned back on, but the lights are not on yet. Probably the hours are always supposed to be on, like, uh, you know, some of the older cars. This is a 2000, so. Okay. So, now we just have the hours. Let's turn the ignition on. There we go. The screen lit up. Um, error E2. I don't know what that means. Sorry, our error zero two. Right, turn it off. And it shut off. All right, I'm just gonna start this thing. No, well, we got smoke shooting out. Things running. I'm gonna try to Google this RE2, but it's not frozen now. I don't know. Okay, there's a windshield wiper on or intermittent and off. Well, there's no windshield, so but we'll try. Okay, the screen definitely works. I, I don't know what it is, but so I don't want to touch it. 
and we have a temperature gauge here. Oh, that's why he was saying he overheated because there was no temperature gauge. Because we definitely got somewhere. We did the old uh, blowing out the Game Boy cartridge trick. Seemed to work. All right, so I spoke to the owner and he said the E02 was on before. He doesn't think it had anything to do with this. He just was worried about the screen. He doesn't know what it was. Um, well, he said maybe for that I'll try to find the mechanic, but I told him I'll Google it for him. <laughs> that much I could do. It says it's an error in the EPC system, but then on this form over here, um, that is just an operator code alerting them to problem. You'll have to get into the diagnostics to determine the cause. All right, so I watched this video, and he shows how to find the error code. So two error O2s just telling you there is a problem. So you hold down this buzzer button, um, and well, I don't know how to get out of it. Well, let's just try it again. You hold down the buzzer button and this button over here. And now we're back to the buzzer. Okay, so here, this is, let me shut it off and see what happens. Okay, it's off. Gotta get this key all the way in. Okay, so now the buzzer is gonna be. All right, so now you hold this button down and push that buzzer button over there at the same time until it says one. All right, then we're gonna push okay. And now we got error 233. Front pump TVC solenoid valve circuit is broken. All right, I'm gonna try to just erase this code, see if it comes back. Um, so I think you're supposed to hold the buzzer and then turn the key off while you're still holding the buzzer. And now, I'm not sure. <laughs> um, I think he said turn it back on holding the buzzer. And then, do this. I'm told it says number one, push okay. The rest of this, uh, I must have missed how to do it. All right, I don't know how to erase the code. Um, also, he was saying you push this buzzer button down while you do this to get to that error but this is a switch it's not i mean it's not like a momentary switch it's either on or off so let's put it this way and hold this button down and see if we get to the o1 we don't okay so it just has to be in that position you don't have to hold it down i mean you're not holding anything down see now i got the o1 okay we got the 233 hour i'll tell the guy the code but this is not for me i am not diagnosing any further i came for the screen now he says to get the thing to clear just keep holding the buzzer button but turn the key off but you don't have to hold it because it's just a switch and then he said turn it back on while you're still holding the buzzer and then when his screen doesn't have the error anymore so it could be because i actually have the physical problem so it's not letting me clear it or there's some other way how to do it but for now i'm done all right, I just turned the thing back on. I guess this buzzer made at least the buzzer stop. So at least now it's drivable without that thing beeping in your ear the whole time. Let me try with the thing on. We'll hold it down. Error 01, push OK. We got the 233. And now let's go like this. Turn it off while the tractor's on, maybe. Turn it back on. All right, it's not going away. All right, that's enough. I'm really done for now. All right, thanks for watching.